Okay, we're going to have a look at how we can combine two components of a force to find the resultant of those two components. In this question, we've been given a horizontal force and a vertical force. And we've got a situation here where a boat is pulling a smaller dinghy behind it, and we're being asked to find out the tension in the rope uh, that's pulling that small dinghy. So we've got a horizontal force, which is acting in this direction, which we're told is 150 newtons. And we've got a vertical force as well, which we are told is 50 newtons. So those two forces combine together to produce a resultant, which is neither horizontal nor vertical. And we're asked to find, uh, use a scale diagram to find that resultant, and also use that scale diagram to find the direction of that resultant force. And we're given some grid squares at the bottom here for our diagram. So the first thing we need to do is to work out what scale we might use for our diagram. We want to make sure our scale is as large as possible so that our diagram is as accurate as it can be. And in an ideal situation, we would like to use at least one centimeter for 10 newtons, but this uh, grid paper is just a bit too short, probably on purpose. So we need to pick another scale to use. So I'm gonna use a scale of 0.5, centimeters equals 10 newtons so 10 sorry 5 centimeters would equal 100 newtons uh, and so on so for my horizontal component we'll start at uh, where two grid squares cross i'm going to draw a line of 7.5 centimeters to represent my 150 newtons horizontal force and I'll put an arrowhead on that and make sure we label that at 150 newtons. And then I'm going to draw my vertical force, which will have a length of 2.5 centimeters. And again, we label that as 50 newtons. So those two forces combine to produce a resultant force, which is going to have a direction somewhere like this, but we need to find out the exact direction. And to do that, what we need to do is complete the rectangle. So I'm first of all going to draw across a horizontal line. I'm just going to dash this in so it's not too prominent on my diagram and I can see still my original component. And then I'm going to draw up a vertical line like this. And where these two meet here, this corner, that is the furthest point of our resultant force. And our resultant force goes from the origin of these two vectors across the diagonal. So we can now draw in that diagonal line, which will represent the resultant force. That's our resultant force R, and I can just use my ruler to measure the length of that. And that is our eight centimeters. So now according to my scale, eight centimeters would give us a resultant force of 100 and 60 newtons. So that's the magnitude of the force, but we also need to find out the direction of the force, i.e. that angle here. So to do that, we just get out our angle measure. I'm gonna put zero on the horizontal. I'm going to just measure that carefully, and that gives me an angle, I think, there of 19 degrees. So the direction of the force is 19 degrees to the horizontal, and that's clearly marked so that is how we use a scale diagram to find out the resultant of two components of a force.